Hello, it's Aga from Marvis Artist, and today I love to share with you my favorite plugins that I have used during my journey with Arvis. I selected these plugins based on my personal feelings. I chose these ones because I think that they can make a life of 3D artists easier, the workflow faster, or they give you plenty of possibilities. Let's start with the first one. First pack is the scattering plugin for 3ds Max. It basically gives you the possibility to make the scattering automatically and you can randomize it by adjusting different options. Let's take a quick look. There is an automatic option to create the forest pack, but you can also use a manual one and you can adjust the placement by hand. You can also create randomized objects, but position them by hand. Forest Pack automatically creates proxies from the objects so your scene is optimized and light. You can also create randomization of the map team, for example. Additionally, the Forest Pack comes with the library so you can use your models in the scene. But what is even better, you can use their presets, for example grass, leaves, and so on. You can try their free pack, which doesn't include all options, or purchase the pro version with all possibilities. This is for sure one of the best plugins I know, and I use it very often, especially for exterior projects, like here for example to create a grass, or another one to position the ferns, or here to create a strong roof, or to position the hanging plants. Another plugin from the same company. It's a great tool for parametric modeling. So here you create the base objects, then you generate the rules that create the object from repetitive elements, and at the end you can use some modifiers to, for example, randomize the newly created object. Let's take a quick look. So you have, for example, the row of the chairs, and then Based on the lines, you create multiple rows of the chairs in the stadium. So you can create complex objects like this in a much faster way. Also, as in Forest Pack, they have the library of some assets to use. Take a look here how simply you can create the red links, for example, from the library assets. Similar to Forest Pack, you can download a free light version or push raise the pro one. We don't use Reclone now as we don't model complicated structures anymore, but for all of you who model a lot, it's a great tool to model, for example, buildings, railings, even furniture, basically everything what has repetitive elements. GreatFX is the plugin to generate any plants and trees, as well as animate them. It gives you the possibility to create the plants in the parametric way. It has a user-friendly interface where you need to join different options together and modify them. You can not only create the plants, but also animate them. Here is how the pricing looks. You can see how many options you have with this plugin. It's a pretty cool plugin and if you want to have full control and create any plant you want, it's really worth to check out. If you want to know how to model the plant with use of this plugin, check out my series of GreatFX tutorials. I put the link to the first part in the corner. It's a really complex plugin and you have a lot of possibilities with it. You can, for example, create your own liquid simulation, but there is much more. For example, ocean waves, cascade simulations, liquid, splash and foam, and so on. You can create different special effects with this. It's really powerful. Here is how recommended pricing looks. I don't know this plugin well, I've used it only for the water simulation, as I have never really needed this for anything else, but for this, it works really well. 
We teach how to create water simulation with use of this plugin in our animation course. I put the link in the corner in case you want to check it out. Floor Generator is a simple plugin which helps you to generate floor objects. You have different patterns that you can use. We have a free version with standard floor patterns and the full version with all others. You can control the size of the floor objects and randomize them. We use it in most of our visualizations. Here are some examples. It's pretty handy and I cannot really imagine not using it. This one is really powerful. With the use of Anima, you can generate 3D people animation and crowds. You can simply create such a complex crowd. You can use it both in still images and animations. You can drag and drop 3D humans to your scene. You can generate people moving not only on the flat surfaces, but also on the ramps, stairs, escalators, etc. They also work well on irregular terrain. People have different motions, they stand, sit and walk. They give you the possibility to create your own characters and motions. Here is the pricing for this one. I used to work with Anima quite a bit in the past as it works really well if you're working on some big commercial projects. Project Manager It's the perfect tool for managing and organizing your library. I will show you the main options. So basically, you have different sections, models, materials, textures, and ideas. And you can easily drag and drop the objects or materials to the scene, like they show in the video. It speed ups the workflow so much. Additionally, you can easily relink all the missing textures or proxies from your scene. That's super powerful and I highly recommend it. It's another plugin from CG Source. It gives you the possibility to load multiple textures and assign them randomly. It works with a floor generator. Here we have the example. So you can see that there are a lot of textures loaded. You can adjust general gamma, hue and saturation. but also you can randomize the loaded textures a bit. Let me show you. So here, for example, some will be darker, some will be brighter than the original ones, or the hue will change randomly for some, or the saturation. You can also change percentage of distribution. We use it a lot, especially in the interior projects. Like in these examples, most of the time we have the use of the floor generator. Okay, these are my favorite plugins. Let me know in the comments what your favorite ones are. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe, and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.